Our So Cincinnati stories often show you the people, the places, and the foods that are so special just to those of us who live here. Often, So Cincinnati means generations of a family who chose to invest their lives in our community. And today we introduce you to just such a family, the Suiters. You may not have been in the art store that's been on Vine Street since 1924, but Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us why this family and this store is So Cincinnati. She had a tear that went. Artists see the world in a different way, a mass of shapes, colors, forms. Souter's Art Store has the tools for their vision, from the paint, clay, and chalk to the brushes and carving knives. This is John Sr. This is the man who started it. Started it in 1924. Sharon Souter is married to the founder's grandson. Souter's was first a frame shop and gallery. Art supplies were added to accommodate local artists. It's always been in the 1300 block of Vine Street. It was a vibrant neighborhood then. It was a blue collar neighborhood mostly, um, but it was um, fully occupied and had businesses all up and down the streets. The vibrant neighborhood turned violent in 2001. Vine Street was at the heart of the riots, sparked by the fatal police shooting of a 19-year-old in Over the Rhine. It was hard. It was the first time I ever questioned whether it was safe for people to come here. The next day, Sharon called employees and told them they didn't have to come in, but they did. Customers came in too, and suitors stayed in the 1300 block of Vine. I always felt like this neighborhood really needed us to be here, that they needed something positive to stay in this neighborhood. Did you think um, uh, that you weren't going to go back there or that you... Never thought that. I never thought that. Marlene Steele is a practicing painter with works in the State House. She's been going to Suitors since she was a student at the Art Academy back when it was in Eden Park. That place is like a second home to me. Um, I send my students there from all my classes. So Souter stuck it out and over the Rhine. Then in 2005, the Cincinnati Art Academy, one of the oldest art schools in the country, moved here to over the Rhine from Mount Adams, less than a block away. Now over the Rhine is thriving. It's much like it was when Souter's opened back in 1924, opened and never left for the same reason those customers came in the day after the riots. Um, when they came here, it, it was like they put their faith in this neighborhood. And that is so Cincinnati. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Good story. Our congratulations to Marlene Steele, who has just been selected to be Ohio's arts ambassador. Wow.